Let's look at Joe Fourier's crazy idea. Not the greenhouse effect, the other one. Let's look at it mathematically, what he is saying. Um, let's see, he's saying that basically any motion y of x and t can be described as a superposition of the normal modes. And you have to use all of them, okay? So we're going to write it as a sum from n equals 1 to infinity of all the normal modes, okay? We'll give each one an amplitude, and it'll be sine um, knx times, uh, we want to go with cosine omega n t, and let's actually let them be out of phase, just to make it more general. Um, the shape is well described with a, cos with a sine function because we're doing a clamped string still. Everything we do will be for a clamped string. But then these different um, uh, normal modes don't have to all happen in phase together. They could happen out of phase. So let's see. So Joe Fourier says that will work. Um, mathematically, what are we dealing with here? Well, we don't know these, right? We know that. That's, uh, what is that? That's uh, n pi over L. Um, that's n pi over L. And omega is n pi over L times V. And we know what sine and cosine are. So this we don't know. And actually the phases we don't know. Okay. So what Joe Fourier has given us is one equation. This is one equation and infinity unknowns. That's not very useful. Thanks for nothing. Dropping my G's, Joe. Because typically you need as many uh, unknowns as equations to figure anything out. Here we have the worst possible situation. I guess we could have zero equations and infinity unknowns. It'd be a little bit worse. So let's see. He must have thought of something else to improve this. <laughs>